What's up, Aquarius? How's it going? I'm getting ready to do a reading for the sign of fixed air. Um, the moon is currently in Aquarius, so I'm tapping into that energy. We're all feeling it. We're all feeling the Aquarius influence at the moment. So this is a collective reading for this moment and a reading for the sign of Aquarius. Um, so wherever Aquarius may fall in your chart, whatever planets, houses, um, that's the area of life that these messages can apply. So, yeah, uh, this is my third video for this channel. Um, thank you for watching. Thank you for liking, subscribing, um, sharing all of those good things. Thank you for your support. Um, I make herbal medicine here in my apothecary, so I'm um, getting ready to launch my online shop and I'll put the link in the description. Um, yeah. One more shuffle. Aquarius has been like not wanting to be led. I don't think Aquarius likes to be looked at. Aquarius is the opposite of Leo. And I think Aquarius likes to do the looking. I think Aquarius likes to be the one scoping things out and doesn't really like to be the one being read. Um, I get that. I always get that vibe. So, Aquarius, I'm going to read you, okay? Um, yeah, I ask that these messages come to me in a way I can understand. And I ask that I pass them along clearly. I ask these messages find those who need them the most. And I ask that they uh, bring in the overall... How do I want to say this? I've been thinking I've, I do multiple... I do specific like openings when I do a reading with the person in front of me. Um, but it's weird doing it. It's different doing it for the people who are going to be watching it later on who I don't know and now at this point it's me talking to a camera um <laughs> so I'm filling that out um but yeah I just want to ask that these messages um find those who need it and contribute to the good of the overall to the good of the whole collective here um <clears throat> yeah see this card came up The hangman um, was present in Capricorn's reading. So on the bottom of the deck is the four of cups and the hangman. I already can see where this reading is going to go. A shift in perspective. Things coming to you that you didn't expect. Things that once you shift your perspective, that's when things can come into you. Um, there's something about, for Aquarius, a perspective shift um, that's blocking blessings from coming in, that's blocking connections from coming in, nourishment, something that Aquarius is desiring. So this Four of Cups... Um, you can see he's looking at the three and the four cup is coming to him out of the blue, out of thin air. And I think this is making me think about these two in, in combination. It's making me think about the part of manifestation or the part of conjuring things or the part of making things happen where you have to have your stuff in order, like there's a sense in this cup that like, are, are your cups clean? Like whatever you're attracting, when you attract something, when something comes to you, right? It's going to meet what you have lined up. So it's kind of like that question about in manifesting of, have you cleaned your heart? Have you, um, you know, made sure that you're like, you're wanting something out there um, but what do you have? 
and what does that attract? Like like attracts like or symbiotic relationships are formed, dynamics are formed based off of what you're carrying. It's not always like attracts like, right? Like I don't really like that saying. Sometimes it's opposite tracks. It you know what I'm saying? But it it does have this is saying to me be be responsible. This was in reverse. Be responsible um, with your outlook. Like, how is your outlook? How is the way that you're looking at things? How is the way that you, Aquarius, are looking at things, reading things, reading people? Like, how is your outlook affecting what comes into you? Whoa. <laughs> okay. The Hierophant, Death, and the Ace of Swords in reverse. Holy shit, Aquarius. <laughs> this is a whole bunch of nonsense. Um, or not. I don't know. I hate that. I hate the Hierophant. It's like, that card just gives me the heebie-jeebies. <laughs> um, his whole, his whole get up, his whole, this whole scene here. Um, I don't like it. It's it, so. This, when I say nonsense, what I meant was a whole bunch of blockages. Having the Ace of Swords and the Death card in reverse feels like change and change <laughs> to really massive levels of change um the rug coming out from underneath you and you changing your mind it's like both levels of change where change can originate from um that's being blocked by this fucker i don't like him especially don't like him in this spread right here with these two it's like he's stopping Aquarius from this shift in perspective. Keep going. <clears throat> the Hermit in reverse underneath the Hierophant. Wow. Wow. What the fuck? It's so... Okay. King of Wands. Ten of Pentacles. Ace of Cups. Holy shit. So we've got two aces in reverse here. And then here is the cup. This is the cup that is coming to this man out of thin air. And they're both in reverse. So the aces are the beginning, right? The aces are the beginning of the suit. And if you have the Ace of Swords and the Ace of Cups, to me, that feels like a beginning where things are cleared out of the way. This has to do with change and process and initiate. Like this is this to me feels like coming through and clearing the way for a fresh cup. Going back to that that um that idea of like you need to clear your cups out before you can have that new start. This is what these two together feels like. You see how the sword is facing the cup? These two hands are facing each other. This is feminine. This is masculine. This is a process. This is almost like alchemy, seeing these two together. It's this process of going, okay, I'm going to clear out the old so that the fresh, nourishing fluid can come in. This is about cutting people off <laughs> in order to be able to have the kind of relationships that are actually healthy. This is about leaving a situation, leaving a job, leaving a place, um, ending a relationship with whoever, right? Cutting family off, cutting toxic friends, whatever it is, and then having this rushing in of fresh blood, of fresh nourishment. Um, it's almost making me think of that, that thing in yoga where some of the poses are literally designed to like um, restrict 
blood flow and then open it up like you'll you'll have like a, a bind where you're all like you know bent over and then you open up and you the whole point is to sort of stop the blood flow in certain areas of the body so that when you do open it up um it really replaces with fresh new blood and this is what this feels like of this what this is talking about too of that um process that is getting held the fuck up for Aquarius. Why is Aquarius not able to do this? It's so intense. Um, the weight on this Aquarius energy that is trying to free up, free up, you know, like, Three of Cups in reverse. Yeah, the Three of Cups, the Three of Cups in reverse with the Hermit and the Seven of Swords. Aquarius, I think someone could actually be um, purposefully undermining whatever it is that you're trying to do. Um, seeing these two cards together is, is weird because the Hermit is all about seclusion. It's like this wise old man who turns inward. And this is these three women toasting. And they're both in reverse. Um, so these are two very polarized opposites. And it's alongside this five of the five swords, which is in between directly in between these two aces. There could be somebody or something. It may be something that Aquarius is just doing mentally. Um, but there's something that's that's I don't want to say coming in. It's not a blockage. It's undermining. There's something undermining this, these aces, this new beginning, this cup coming in. There's literally something stopping this cup from coming in um, and not stopping. Like I said, in terms of a blockage, it feels like undermining it. Almost like every time Aquarius starts towards this, um, something comes in, something cuts it off, something interrupts it. These are throwing me off, seeing them together reversed. It's kind of like, well, what do you want? What do you want, Aquarius? Do you want to be by yourself or do you want to be with people? This might just be confusion. Yeah, this might be, this literally might be nothing other than Aquarius being Yeah, look at that. Okay. See, it just confused me. It, the, the, that's what I feel like is going on here with Aquarius. Aquarius is fixed air. And I think there's a real gift of sight, of oversight, being able to see things from really high up. Um, a lot of the best athletes are Aquariuses and I always think of that as being because they can see sort of from the top down it's like they have a vision of the court or whatever from the top down um, and I think I almost feel like Aquarius is 
just confusing themselves. Like, okay. <clears throat> this row feels like it's talking about whatever needs to be cleared out of the way for this for this cup to come in. Um, this is this Ace of Swords. This is this clearing energy. And this is death, which is also clearing, ending, final, you know, like, I like the death card. I think it's really good to see, especially when you're dealing with something that's negative, right? Um, but it's in reverse. So it's both of these feel prevented or held up. And this character, this, this character is about authority and um, structure. So there's some kind of relationship to authority that's really preventing Aquarius from putting whatever needs to be put down, put down, letting go of whatever needs to be let go of, clearing out. There's something that Aquarius is invested in, either a position of authority, you know, maybe it's Aquarius' own authority that's getting in the way of letting something go, or it could be an authority figure. Um, just whatever relationship to authority, it's like that is causing this to not happen. That's causing this clearing of the way. I mean, when you put them upright, look how much it's like they're just, they're both going in the same direction. They're coming through to get rid of something. And that is not happening because of this, because of some kind of relationship to authority. I think it's a position, I, I have that feeling that Aquarius likes being in that place of seeing from above, from looking at people from above. That's actually what's being shown here, right? These two guys with their little, you know, um, church outfits and this guy's up on his um, pulpit or whatever the hell <clears throat> that is. That's about authority. That's about being in a place where you're looking down, where you have the authority. I think, I think Aquarius, <laughs> sorry, but I think Aquarius is like, can't receive anything is having a hard time receiving because they can't let anything go because they're there's this Aquarius yeah I feel like Aquarius is stuck in that role of authority or stuck too invested in being the authority too invested in being in position of knowing what's best and that is Preventing something from being released, something from being severed, gotten rid of. So Aquarius, your relationship to authority is, is standing in the way of the transformation. Yeah, this is kind of weird, too, when I think about that um, image of, like, standing and watching or being in a place of authority. This kind of looks, you know, like he's watching, like these two actually are watching this play out. I think this is almost like a scene of, I don't even want to say it. It's like creeping me out. <laughs> you know what I mean? Of, of like people having a good time, enjoying themselves, connecting, gathering. It's like these two characters on the sideline are looking at that scene. Um, and it doesn't feel good. It feels, again, here's the cups, right? And the, the, the bottom card was the four of cups. And here's the three of cups in the center. 
both in reverse. This is Aquarius feeling locked out from connecting, not, not knowing how to connect, going about connection in, in these ways. Um, there's this real creepy, I want to say, um, sorry, but don't be a creep. And I don't even mean that in like a sexual way or anything. I just mean like, like you might not be aware of how you're coming across, I guess is what I want to say. Um, there's this. I feel like Aquarius energy is stuck. Yeah, and this is going to get into the third row. Yeah, Aquarius, this, this, this looks like being stuck kind of watching and being creepy about it. it. Creepiness is just like not being aware of the fact that you're making other people uncomfortable or not being aware of how you're making people feel in general. So this feels like that watcher energy, this hermit and this, this five, that's just really in a dark place. Like when you get stuck in a watching energy, when you get stuck in a like observing role, um, that can just automatically turn creepy. It doesn't have to be, you don't have to do anything. Like I remember seeing this all the time when I would DJ, like you don't have to do very much to be a creep at a party, right? All you have to do is kind of stand there and just watch people and not really have an understanding that you're making people uncomfortable by watching them. That makes you a creep. <laughs> like you could be the prettiest young girl or the gorgeous, you know, dashing eligible bachelor. If you act like that, it pushes people away. It pushes this cup away from coming into you. And here's this last row. The Ten of Pentacles. With this cup, of this Ace of Cups in reverse and this King of Wands in reverse. Aquarius. <sighs> This is so, this is, um, you want this so badly. I can just feel it. It's like, this cup that's trying to come into you, um, it feels like you're really driven towards it there's a this is what I want you see how he's in reverse and that has him looking like if he was upright he'd be looking away from the ten of pentacles because the king is reversed he's looking at the ten of pentacles and it has this it creates this image to me of like again being stuck on the sidelines but really the King of Wands has a lot of drive, has a lot of ambition, has a lot of like power and force. Force, that was an important word. I think you're trying to force this. This is what this um, also feels like, this, this like, authority figure that's like no I want it this way I can see how this is supposed to be I can see like the king of wands to me is also about direction like I can see how this is supposed to go so the fact that he's in reverse feels like it's like fixated or like this is how I want it to go it's my way or the highway kind of energy so, of course, the cup is in reverse. You know what I mean? What do you, you cannot, the, you cannot receive in that kind of energy. And it's interesting because there's actually no blockages here on the table. There's nothing 
there's none of those like Capricorn's reading is full of being blocked and being frustrated um and the tower and the devil and all these it's like there's not actually there's not actually blockage here um there's nothing blocking this this cup and this is what this hangman speaks about that it is literally just a shift in perspective that is required <clears throat> he literally just has to look up to see it um and it feels like this is this pattern for aquarius of <clears throat> pushing pushing that cup of connection that cup of fulfillment um pushing it away through being thinking you know everything or thinking you you know being really attached to being in that position and through trying to force things to go how you want it to go trying to force your end goal <clears throat> I mean, people joke about Aquarius being, like, emotionally detached, right? <clears throat> and this doesn't feel like, like, there's, there, this feels like almost the other side of that coin for, for Aquarius, that because they care so much, I think that's actually why there's this because you do have you know you have these cups you have it's like I don't know how to say this it just feels like I don't feel like Aquarius doesn't care <clears throat> it feels like they care about it so much that the, or when they care or the the way they go, the way that energy goes about existing, it has that um, all-encompassing. It's about that, the whole, the, the big picture. And I think because Aquarius can see that, it's like, because Aquarius can see that, it's like they're, they're not, that energy has a hard time just receiving, just jumping in, you know, with this these cups energy. This is the three. It's like this four is trying to come to him and he's got the three. So here's the three, right? It's that like, it's that energy of having it, but not being able to actually participate in it having it right there um but being stuck in this role of like having to watch out for people having to watch people's back having to maintain a sense of whatever position that is that that you may find yourself in right it's like that's what's stopping that from coming to you All right, I want to pull some cards for uh, just some advice about, yeah, this like, it's bothering me because it feels very generous. That's the word I was looking for. Aquarius feels very generous. Um, yeah, it's like I don't want to. I don't want to. This is. These are not bad cards, right? This isn't like you have that. In, like Aquarius wants 
the Ten of Pentacles. They want to provide. They want that that tent. Um, there's a generosity to it, which is bothering me in comparison to this really restricted energy, this creepy energy, this like watcher stuck on the sidelines, um, can't engage energy. It's like those two things I feel like are two sides of the same coin for Aquarius. Advice for Aquarius. She's going to take. <laughs> Are you fucking joking me? Look at this. It's the Four of Cups again. With the death in reverse again. <laughs> I love it when the cards are like, I said what I said, okay? Um, damn. Okay, well, this time the Four of Cups is upright. So this is saying accept, accept that death, that ending, that that um, transformation. Whatever this is, this is a real like strong confirmation that whatever you're avoiding or whatever authority figure, whatever you're avoiding um, ending, whatever is, whatever change you're avoiding, that change brings in that cup, that fulfillment, that wish fulfillment, that change that you are avoiding, it brings in your wish fulfillment. brings in that cup, to, that, that fourth cup to meet your, your three that you have lined up here. That three that you're, you know, don't feel you can participate in. Yeah, there's a real avoiding of change, which, you know, Aquarius is a, a fixed, fixed sign. Um, and I don't think Aquarius likes change. And I think, like I said, Aquarius gets a lot of strength from being in that position of watcher, um, authority, the person who's, who has the oversight and I don't think they want to give up that position. Aquarius, give up that position sometimes. Sometimes it's okay to not be the authority, to not be the one doing the watching, to not be the one having the oversight on the entire situation. That change that's trying to come in or that will come in as soon as you let go of that grip of that you have on that kind of power that you have because it is strong power Aquarius has a lot of power um but you have a vice grip on that Aquarius has a real vice grip on that perspective and this is straight up like as soon as you let go of that that grip as soon as you let go of this grip that cup is coming in, that fresh nutrient blood that you've been starving, that that like richness, emotional richness that you've been starving yourself. <laughs> yeah. Okay, there's the there's interesting. So this is, this is the rest of the advice. The lovers, the ten of wands, and the four of swords. So here's another four and more swords. So 
to me, this is about allowing yourself to be seen. Allowing yourself to be seen. The Ten of Wands is like that um, pushing through effort, you know, to attain. That's here's here's another ten. We've got a ten of pentacles and a ten of wands. So we've got two aces and two tens. This is a this wands here. This ten of pentacles is about that generosity. This wands. This 10 is about that passion, that drive. Okay, this here's the King of Wands. And the lovers, the lovers, it's two energies coming together to create a third. That's, it's, it's the number six. Um, it's, that's the meaning of sex. It's two things coming together to create. And this is all in reverse. And it's all saying, allow yourself to be seen. Allow so that you can merge with others. You can't merge with others if you're stuck in this mode. Look at this four and this four. It's interesting how this face is hidden in the, in this deck, right? He's literally hiding in this garden. And the cup is coming to him. It's, this looks like he's peeking out. This guy's totally covered up, right? He's got his armor on. He's laid in his... Um, rest this is not a coffin this is not him being dead this is reflection um this is this comes from the tradition where back in the day um warriors would um have their coffin prepared in case they would when they would go to battle they would have somewhere to come back if they were to die but if they didn't die they would lay in their coffin with their weapons hung up and they would reflect on the battle and so this is about reflection. It's not about death, right? It's about taking yourself um, in seclusion to reflect internally, internal um, absorbing of lessons. And but it's about being totally closed off. It's about having all of your thoughts totally internal, right? This and here the four of cups is about kind of emerging from that and allowing something to come to you. Nothing is coming to him. That's the point of the four of swords. He's, it's, it's the space for you to think clearly for yourself. So the fact that this guy, that seclusion, that internal dialogue, alongside this 10, this big, you know, har harvesting effort, this like pushing through, gathering up all the, the things that you set out to do, that satisfaction, that fulfillment, um, getting to see the, the benefits of your labor, along with the lovers. This is this really instructions for Aquarius about Allowing yourself to be seen for who you are so that you can actually receive. There's no... There's no relationship. There's no coming together. There's no um, generating. To me, this is also about generating. The number three, right? Generations, like creating on that level and if you are if you are in this mode right of I'm separated from you guys because I know what's best 
no one's really seeing you for who you are. It's like, come out into the light. Put, put yourself, let, let us see you. Put yourself out there. It's like, take yourself out of this um, cage that you've put yourself in this. It might feel really secure. That's what this says to me too, that it, it feels secure for Aquarius to stay here, to stay in this authoritative, I can see everyone, I know what's going on. Um, it feels really safe. That safety is preventing the fulfillment that you're yearning for, right? The fulfillment of coming together with people. You have to be um, vulnerable. You have to be open. You have to you have to allow yourself to actually be seen and engage in that way um, to have this, to have this kind of fulfillment, this kind of coming together and like making shit happen with people. This is all, all these cards here are like make shit happen cards. Juicy, let's get it going, whether that's love, money, family, community, whatever. This is very um, fruitful. <laughs> okay? A three, a six, and two tens. Um, pentacles, cups, um, wands. It's all growth. That's this growth that's available. That's That's what this you know, these two cut, these two four of cups coming out. That's what this is speaking about. That's try uh, what's in that cup, Aquarius, is that level of this king of wands, the three of cups, the ten of wands, this growth, abundance, real richness and wealth, um, whatever that means to you. And all these swords, all this like, Allow this transformation to come in. Allow this, allow yourself to be in a new position. Um, yeah, this attachment to authority has got to go. It's got to go. Um, I always say it's like, Oftentimes, it's our strengths that really stand in the way the most um, or burden us the most. And it's really important that whatever it is that you're really good at that brings you strength, that gets you in a position of being strong, of being, you know, having the upper hand or whatever it is, like, whatever it is that makes you strong, learn how to do the opposite of that thing. Um it just, it goes for everything. And Aquarius has that very, very unique ability of oversight. So careful not to get locked there. Careful not to get locked up um, in being the authority in the situation. Um, I can't believe these both. I can't believe I got two of these. That's amazing. Um, yeah, you clearly got something that's trying to come into you so yeah let it come down all right i am gonna wrap this up thank you for tuning in i will do pisces next um yeah the moon goes into pisces monday i think or tomorrow i don't know um once the moon goes into Pisces, I will do a reading for the Pisces Collective. And um, yeah, thanks for tuning in so much. And I will see you around. Sending you protection if you want it. Um, and be well.